Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, have not given any suggestion around where they will spend Christmas but many have speculated if they will return to visit the royal family. Royal commentator Gwen Flamberg insisted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should visit as the Queen is not getting any younger. Concern for the health of the Queen has been heightened in recent weeks after she pulled out of a number of major engagements, spent a night in hospital, and was ordered to rest by royal doctors. Speaking to Us Weekly, Ms. Flamberg said, I wish that they would go for Christmas. The Queen's Christmas brunch is always a very big deal. I'm not quite sure if it will go off as it did before the pandemic because the pandemic is still going on. But let's just say, Shush is not getting any younger and I would hope they would spend ample time together. It comes as royal expert Jonathan Sacerdoti has said it would be a great opportunity for some family healing. Speaking to express.co.uk, Mr. Sacerdoti said, I imagine that the Queen would like to have them there. I can see why it's very difficult for them to be able to come back for Christmas but also it could be a great opportunity for some bridge building and for some family healing and I think that they would probably want that and the rest of the family would probably want that. The problem is there would be masses of speculation and gossip surrounding it and that's not something of them should want and that might be they don't manage to do it. But we'll have to wait. The Queen HASNT met Lilibet and it would be a good opportunity for that. Especially as we're looking at the Queen now with her recent health issues and at such an advanced age, I know that there have been reports that Harry was sad he HADNT got to see Prince Philip more in the final period in his life. I think anyone with older relatives is aware Christmas is a good time to make the time to be together even when you have a busy schedule. It comes as Harry said on Tuesday that the term Megshi, a phrase used by the British press to describe the decision by him and his wife Meghan to quit their royal duties, was a misogynistic term Harry was speaking by video on a panel called the Internet Lie Machine, organized by US technology and culture magazine Wired. He said the word was an example of online and media hatred. Maybe people know this and maybe they don't, but the term Megshi was or is a misogynistic term, and it was created by a troll, amplified by royal correspondence, and it grew and grew and grew into mainstream media. But it began with a troll, Harry said, he did not elaborate. Harry and Meghan, formerly known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, moved to California last year to lead a more independent life. Harry has said that part of the reason for their departure was the racist treatment of Meghan, whose mother is black and whose father is white, by the British tabloid media.